Hi, welcome to Maggie's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make braised pork with soy sauce. It is a very common dish in China that almost every family has their own way of doing it. I would like to share my recipe with some secret ingredients. You will be flavorful, juicy, and tender. Let's get started. First, give a pork belly a hot bath. That will start with the cold water, which also needs some onion and the ginger. You can use any onion you prefer, green, red, yellow, doesn't matter. Add them to the water. Then add some uh, cooking wine or vinegar. This will get the blood out of the meat and uh, get rid of those unpleasant pork smell. While waiting for the water to boil, I cut more onion and the ginger to be used later to cook with the pork. Once the water is boiling, let it boil for a few minutes until no more foam forming on top. Then rinse in the cold water and drain. Cut the meat into smaller pieces, about one to one and a half inches thick. Not too small, so it will still keep its shape once it's cooked. I use a cast iron pot, because later on it will be baked in the oven. Add onion, ginger, and the meat all in the pot. There's no need to add oil here, because there will be lots of grease released from the pork while searing the meat. Adding few pieces of star anise to wake up the spices and release the flavor. The onion is getting soft. There's a grease at the bottom. It's time to add a liquid. I add about one cup of beer, 240 milliliter. About a four tablespoon of light soy sauce. About six pieces of anchovies. Anchovy will bring the taste of the whole dish to the next level. And it has a very strong flavor. Little bit goes a long way. Here comes another secret ingredient, apples. I add a whole apple here, about a medium size. The acidity of the apple will add extra flavor to the dish. Then cover goes to preheated oven 300 Fahrenheit for about one hour. An hour later, add a quarter cup of a brown sugar. That will bring some molasses taste to the dish. Then I load the heat down to 250 Fahrenheit for another 45 minutes about. This is how it looks like after 45 minutes. The skin and the meat already chopstick tender. It's your choice to serve now or cook a little longer. The longer you cook, more fat push out of the meat and the tastier the dish. I leave it in the oven for another hour to have a tender texture. You can see the meat can be pulled apart with no effort. How are we going to serve this? First, I made a pulled pork hamburger with a homemade buns and a coleslaw. But eating with the rice is still my favorite. The meat is so flavorful and tender and the fat just explode and melt in your mouth. I hope this video will wake up your craving for pork and you will try the recipe soon. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.